All right, guys. So on the previous video, I went a little, I went over a little update of what was going on, and I talk about the bent wheel on my Polygon Six QT8. I talk about the Raglan Marley that is completed, and I talk about the uh, levers that they don't, I don't like this anymore. I also talk about the wheel set. I have already set this tubeless. I gotta put the tire back on and return this wheel back to the uh, orange Himalo frame. Now another thing that I did, I had ordered some Dior brake levers that I have already put over here on the on the uh, Himalo frame, but they're not bled yet. And the only difference over here is that we don't have the uh, little knob right here or the other adjustments, but the reach and all that is very similar. Let me show you to the XT levers, same design, same everything. It's just that little knob right there. And I guess also I don't see right there that little screw that this one has. But everything else is identical and all I gotta do is bleed them over here. I'm gonna do it off camera and I'm gonna install this on the Polygon Sys QT8. Hopefully they're compatible. If you guys wanna give me hell, go for it. I don't care. I'm gonna do me, you do you. And other than that, i um, just gonna do a montage. Before I do that, please subscribe. I link everything in the description below. Turn the notifications below and let's ride. All right, so it is a direct fit. The only thing that I didn't like is that in order for me to use the Shimano caps that covers all the way up to here, I'm gonna have to actually cut this thing and replace the olive. But other than that, I mean, I could leave it like that and just bleed them because it is, it got this hat fluid, but I guess we introduced some air in it. And this, this one is way better. This one is actually very good. So this one works, the front works, no problem. The bottom, the rear one did lose a little bit of fluid when it was sitting on the, on the, on the uh, counter right there. So I actually do want the Shimano cap. So I'm gonna do this off camera and show you the end result. Well, I just run into a quick problem. Since this is the original cap right here and that doesn't cover the whole thing. I mean, if you don't mind, that's fine. But if you actually wanna use the Shimano cap that covers all the way up, then you will have to cut the hose which I did and I had ferrules. However, these are Shimano ferrules and they will not fit into the Tektra hose. So today's the next day. I ordered this yesterday. These are the Tektra ones. They're a little bit different. So now I can go ahead and tighten this thing up and it should be good to go. Once it's fully compressed, it should look like this. All right, so if you're replacing, replacing the bars and the olives, don't forget, once you cut it, put the cap in here, and then you should be good to go. I'm gonna reuse the same nut right here. And I can just put the bar and olive. Now, the top and the bottom, they're different. I don't know if I'm putting it right, but the other one seemed to work. So I'm putting in the flare upside up. That I'm putting it just like that. And then this little thing, I'm gonna hit it in place because I don't have the tool. And compress away. And I already had fluid on this thing, so I might just need to be like a little bubble bleed. But if yours is brand new, then you will have to flush it. Not flush it, but like insert fluid through the caliper all the way up. So that way you can properly fill and bleed any air gaps. You can start filling the hose turning. Once the hose is turning, then... It should be good to go. You can back out to see how you did. And that's how it looks when it's all compressed. It's 
put it back in there and do the proper necessary bleeding and that will be the final result again the only thing if i didn't want to use these caps then i wouldn't have to change anything but i did want to keep the complete look and they're good to go so that's it a really simple process and again i the feel is completely different i have no idea why i didn't use why I didn't do this before? I guess it's because I didn't know any better, but now that I've been running those XT levers on the orange bike, and when I took this bike to the trail with the stock long two finger braking levers, don't get me wrong, this worked really well, but the difference the, is completely different. Way better on the this type of D, Dior XT or SLX levers, the shorter ones. Maybe some other brands have something similar, but once I rode that orange bike with these XT levers for a while, I knew that I had to make the change. Now, I know Shimano uses Shimano mineral oil, but again, at the end of the day, it's mineral oil. I've been using this for years and I have not had any issues whatsoever. If you want to, if y'all want to say something in the comments, go for it. But I, that's what I'm using. That's what I've been using for years and I have not had any issues. And that's what I'm going to be. That's, that's actually what's been on the, uh, on these levers since I bought them. So a really simple upgrade. Again, if these are about $50 a piece, or you can buy the, just the Dior for like $30 a piece. And they're the exact same thing, except they don't have one nut. Uh, it, it don't have, it looks the same. If you don't know what you're doing or anything like that, and you just want that different feeling, the Dior will do. And that's what I bought. That's what I got on the orange one right now. So for now, I'm happy with this. I hope that you guys learned something today. If you did, give a thumbs up. If you haven't, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. And I'll link everything that I use in the description below. The only thing that I did have to buy was the textural specific barbs and olives. But this was like $9 and it comes with 10 pairs. So get right there. That's it for this one, guys. And I guess I'll see you on the trails. Let's ride.